The time has come to flee Jerusalem. Simeon, Bishop of Jerusalem, told the elders of the Christian congregation. We must be alert. The Roman armies are encompassing the city. God will open a way for us. The message quickly spread among all the Christians in Jerusalem. There had already been five miraculous signs that showed how soon this disaster would happen. First one, at midnight, an unnatural light shone over the temple and altar. Secondly, many saw in the clouds at sunset the picture of chariots and armies. Third, the priests reported mysterious sounds in the temple. Fourth, there was an earthquake. And fifth, the heavy eastern gate of the city of Jerusalem that was fastened securely by iron bars opened by unseen hands at midnight. But the Christians knew that they must wait for the sign foretold by Jesus when the armies would actually surround the city. Now the time had come. But how would they get past the Roman soldiers? Then suddenly, for no apparent reason, Cestius, the commander of the army, ordered his men to retreat. The Jews then went out in great numbers in pursuit of the Romans. This was the chance Christians needed. Neither Roman soldier nor Jewish authority was at the gates to stop the fleeing Christians. They went out of the city together and escaped under the leadership of Simeon to the town of Pella in the hills beyond Jordan in Perea. Within a short time, the Romans advanced again and this time did not leave until the whole city was destroyed. Thousands died of starvation and disease before the soldiers even broke through the fortifications. More than a million people died during the siege of Jerusalem. Bodies lay in great heaps in the streets and the valleys outside the city were strewn with corpses. Thousands fled to the temple thinking the Messiah would come and deliver them. So many were murdered by soldiers that a river of blood flowed down the temple steps. However, not one of those million who perished was a Christian. Not one of the thousands who were taken away as slaves was a Christian. Every one of Christ's followers was safe in the town of Pella because they believed the prophecy of Jesus. The prophecies of Matthew 24 and Luke 21 had a fulfillment in 70 AD with the destruction of Jerusalem. However, there will be a greater fulfillment at the end of time when the whole world will perish except those who are ready for Christ's coming. Will you be one of those who will be ready on that day?